What's up guys, this is GameWave17 here and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my videos on YouTube for any new YouTuber. Firstly, I use a program called Camtasia Studio 8 which is a screen recorder video editing software. Firstly, what I do is at the bottom here you have a timeline. This is where all your video and audios go. I add two more. On the top line, you will have the video itself. The second will be the computer's noises, for example, Minecraft and the third row will be the soundtracks now what I do first is cl click import media and then I add my YouTube introduction I drag this down and automatically I get options of screen size now this is very important you must make sure you select the right option and ensure that the video covers the whole screen for example here, if you look on the right hand side, you'll see these grey lines are, are quite small. That will be the video size itself. You need to make sure that there is no black outlines because this is how it will look on YouTube. Now I usually click 640 times 360 as I do not really record on full screen when doing Hunger Games videos. Now look at this introduction. As you can see it is full screen with no black outlines. Next, I add my Hunger Games video. This is the Hunger Games video I did with Nostin TV. It goes straight after my introduction. Yeah, get rid of him. <laughs> I will protect you. It's okay. Now, Another important tip is the audio. You need to make sure it's not too loud and not too low. And if you are adding a soundtrack, you need to make sure the soundtrack is much lower than the actual audio. So that means your voice can be he heard clearly and the soundtrack can be heard slightly in the background so they kind of blend together. Now, with audio, you always, always never have 100% perfection. For example, microphones usually have noises like shh or mm. Now it really depends on your microphone quality, but as average YouTubers, we don't really have the best quality microphones. Now, with this video here, what I usually do is click edit audio and I could turn the volume up or down. So listen to it very loud now. And I just started recording. Now you can hear the fuzzing much more like shh because it is very loud so that increases the fuzz noise as well now if I do it lower because I forgot dude don't die please it's much more suitable for the audience it will not hurt their ears and they can hear it clearly now there are options up here like enable volume leveling this keeps your speech exactly at the same volume so if you scream it will be exactly the same as as you talking normally you also have here Enable noise removal. This removes any kind of background noises such as clicking or typing on your keyboard. However, it's not 100% effective. You can still kind of hear it, but it kind of dims it down a little bit. I do not use any of these options. All I do is lower and higher the volume. Now, when adding a soundtrack, right, this is what I usually do. I'll show you now if you didn't understand. As you can see, it is very, very loud, right? So what I do is edit again, lower the volume, very low. With the audio, I higher it up, and here we go. Yeah, get rid of <laughs> I will protect you. It's okay. There you go. As you can hear, the volume of the soundtrack is much lower than the volume of speaking. Now, of course, I am not a perfect commentator. I must say it does take time guys like before when I first started I used to do long pauses and be like um um now you can actually cut these out of the video for example I could pull this here and click cut it completely removes it from the video if you do not want to hear you saying um you can completely remove it or you can click here and do separate video and audio now you can literally delete all of the audio click more, do voice narration, 
start recording. Hello, hello, hello. Stop. Save the recording. And it will appear here. Now, this completely replaces the audio. There we go. I will protect you. Recording. Hello, hello, hello. As you can see, me n clicking the narration button, I can record new audio to replace the old audio. And of course, I messed up a bit there. Now, this tutorial was not planned out, guys. I'm speaking naturally from my head. Anything that happens in this video is real. It is not edited. Maybe the volume might be just to make sure you can hear it properly. But that is it. Now, once I've sorted out all of the audio and made sure I removed all of the ums and long pauses like this, that is when I produce my video, click produce and share, YouTube, next, add my title, description and tags and so on and upload, right, in my view, right, I've only been doing commentating for three weeks, at the start of commentating I was like this, um, I went silent, I did not know what to say at all because I am not used to talking to myself, over time I got feedback from my subscribers, thankfully, I really thank you guys for that and I really improved I'm now kind of used to talking to myself because it, at the start it was very hard but now I'm kind of getting used to it of course my English isn't perfecto because of where I live and I just pick up like you know the language and stuff so I try my best to make it sound uh, you know standard English as much as possible but yeah there's one thing very important guys is be yourself do not pretend to be anybody else because that will not get you any views of subscribers of course I'm not a popular youtuber and I know that I'm trying my hardest to get there and I'm very dedicated to what I do so I'm here to help you and provide you feedback on your channel and I would really appreciate if you could do the same for me I'm a community person I like to work with others that is just how I am so be yourself don't try and imitate other youtubers because youtubers will notice that you change your attitudes to suit them should I say they'll subscribe to you if they like you and your videos just remember that like you need to make sure that you put yourself out there you know maybe advertise or you know just like hey guys check out my channel or something you have to put yourself out there do not expect people to come to your channel and view your videos automatically and yes unless you have something very unique maybe something very weird that no one's seen before that might go viral possibly so just remember that always be yourself Make sure the visual is good. Make sure the audio is sorted out. Try and get a video editing software like Camtasia. It's very easy to use. And that's all there is to it, guys. I really hope this helped you. And yeah, see you next time.